Well, the method of Loki leverages your spatial memory, which has been shown to be among your more powerful memories. So like when you walk into a building, you kind of, and you walk out of a building, you can kind of see in your mind's eye the layout of that building. You can walk into it again through your, through your mind, and you can remember some of the things in those rooms. And so this is old. It's as old as the Socratic method, but way cooler than, than it, and uh, way more useful in my mind. Um, though there is some utility to the Socratic method, but um, the method of locally or memory palaces or memory journeys are fantastic for memorizing things. And they also give you, when you're listening to the audio, an opportunity to create um, while, you're, while you're listening, because you're not just listening, but you're imagining places and things that are described in the audio. And that's your own creation. We're not giving that to you. Um, we do have some pictures in our written stuff, that you can um, that can help prime the pump, if you will. But uh, the method of Loki is really cool. So we incorporated that into our material, and then we um, took the basic idea that I had about summary audio at, at the end of, of a class or a course or audio outlines, and we've evolved that now to become audio flashcards, which, as far as I'm aware, no other company uses audio flashcards where you're asked key questions and it pauses long enough for you to think through or verbalize your answer. Um, so uh, somebody asked earlier about what makes Crescendo different. All that stuff that I just talked about, um, the condensed, repeatable, digestible audio outlines that are highly memorable and lush with mnemonics. I mean, you can't get that anywhere else through any other Barbara course. We have hundreds of proprietary mnemonics. Um, another thing that sets us apart is just our price point. I mean, you saw that email that I put up. Somebody had dropped $3,500 on a bar prep course. Ours is only $790 um, for the entire suite. Another difference, other bar prep courses, you pay several hundred dollars of a deposit and you don't get access until a few months before the bar exam. That's traditionally what happens. And there's a few problems with that. One, you're committing to something that you've never even used before. And uh, two, it just costs a lot of money. I mean, you're talking hundreds of dollars just for a deposit to lock you in. So you, you know, don't want to back out later. Oh, and another thing about that whole process is you've got student reps who have never used the product that are, have this conflict of interest that are pushing it on other students and having them buy it. And so, um, but they don't even know if it's any good. Um, they, I mean, they've heard some things and there's social proof and there's good marketing and everything like that, but um, they haven't use the materials. And so where we're different there is we give people access immediately. We give them access immediately and forever to our materials and that includes all our updates. So what that allows you to do is you can get our materials even pre-law or even while you're going, you know, you're, you're in your first year of law school and your first class is that first semester and you can use our bar prep materials for your torts, for your contracts, for your con law and you can see how they're working for you. And um, one thing that's really interesting, though our materials are geared at the bar exam and they're kind of custom carved for the uniform bar exam, we've seen immense academic su success among students who use them as supplements for their particular courses. And the ideal way to go about using them mid-semester is you get the outline early and you listen to them, um, um, you know, you listen to the outline during the beginning part of the semester to really get grounded and a really solid foundation of the black letter law for the course that you're in. You get the big picture. And then when you're in class, you're not stressed about the, the, the fundamentals, everything that will be on the bar. You've already got that. Like, you know that as well as you'll need to know it. And so you can devote your time and attention during class to listen very carefully to your academic judge, your professor, and um, try to figure out, you know, what are their hobby keys? What are the nuances that this professor cares about? And I'll keep track of that. And I have ample time to do that because I'm not worried about the nuts and bolts. I've already got that through Crescendo. And um, students have used that approach, have found uh, great success. And we've, I mean, you can look at the reviews that are on Google or Facebook. And also people have blogged about their experience. They've been so excited about Crescendo, both on LinkedIn and independently on other, other blogs. Um, there's a blogger named Tess Rogers, who has rid of Tess that um, put a little bit about, about her experience. Property was her struggle course and she was really worried about it. And she ended up doing really well in that class using Crescendo. And so um, though our stuff isn't um, made specifically for law school, it has proven so helpful that now that's I mean, we get most of our sales from one else, which I think is um, very telling. 
And again, you get lifetime access. And so that means after you pass and crush the bar, you, you can refresh your recollection anytime down the road. So it's like, oh yeah, I remember I, I did family law when I, when I um, took the bar, but I haven't done that for years. And now I've got this potential client who wants me to do some family law stuff for them. And before I go and meet with them, I want to be somewhat competent in it. And so I'm going to just go to the gym during lunch or, you know, uh, or listen on my commute to my, my updated, refreshed audio outlines from a crescendo for family law. And in an hour, I basically rebooted my memory of those things. And um, in addition to the audio outlines, you also get the practice questions right away. And they're actual bar questions that have been used on the uniform bar exam. We actually already have live on our site the essay questions that were used in 33 states on the uniform bar exam last July. And you can look through the actual grading sheets for those questions. And so there is so much that sets us apart from other bar prep companies.